Hi guys, it's Stock Curry, and oh my gosh, this market is crazy right now. I cannot keep up with it. It's all over the place. The markets were up 1.5% today, and guess what else was up? The VIX. The VIX was up 5%. Why is the VIX going up when the markets are up? This is crazy. It just shows you how much volatility is in the markets right now. NNOX got FDA clearance and what happened? The stock shoots up 70% and then sells off all the way down to 17% up. What is going on? CTRM, it announced a share offering. It immediately drops below the share offering price. What is going on? This is wild, this is crazy. GM, a blue chip company that should be stable, was up 5% today. I cannot keep up with this. Stocks are all over the place. It's wild, it's crazy, I don't know what's going on. But let me just tell you this, in a crazy, wild, volatile market like we're in right now, you cannot be swing trading. You cannot be short term trading. You've got to be either day trading or long term holding. And that's it. You cannot swing trade or short term trade because that requires consistency. That requires us knowing that a stock is trending upward or trending downward. And right now stocks aren't trending anything. They're just all over the place. So don't do any short term trading. Just day trade. This is a day trader's dream right now because there's so much volatility. You can make so much money day to day. It is an absolute day trader's dream. It's also a long-term investor's dream because a lot of stocks that are great stocks with incredible growth opportunities are extremely beat up and pushed down. You have some incredible deals for some incredible long-term holds right now. We've got dividend stocks running yields as high as 15%. What? A dividend stock with a strong standing yields at 15%, it's wild, it's crazy. There are so many opportunities right now, but not for short-term traders. I have an entire short-term trading portfolio that is now turned into a long-term hold portfolio because I can't do any short-term trading right now. I can't predict the market. It's all over the place. So I just want to let you guys know that, throw that out there for you guys, help you guys make some money. If you're trying to short-term trade right now, you'll get lucky one day and unlucky the next, and then lucky and unlucky, and you're just you probably end up losing money. I have been making money every day for the past four days. My stock portfolio was up 4% today. It's working out for me, just hold. In fact, I'll let you guys know that on my Facebook and Twitter, I post every single stock that I buy and sell. If you're not following me on Facebook and Twitter, I have a link to Facebook and Twitter in the description of this video. Just get on there and follow me. I don't have a Patreon. I don't make you guys pay for this. It is free. I'm not here to profit off of you guys. I'm here to help you guys make money. And so I give you my buys and sells free of charge. No Patreon, no money required. All right? So that's my way of helping you guys out. Now, if you go in there and you look at what I've been posting lately, what are you going to find? I've barely been buying and selling anything. I've just been holding. Hold, 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 hold. I, I'm telling you guys, it's crazy. I'm just holding. I can't keep up. But right now, I've got some great stocks with some incredible growth that I bought on huge dips, and they are making money. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I recommend you guys do. Unless you are very experienced and you can sit there and you can watch the markets all day, then go in there and day trade and make money. All right? But for the rest of us that actually have full-time jobs, we have to work, I just recommend holding right now and doing long-term holds. All right, guys. For those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Stock Curry. I used to work as an analyst for some large investment banks, and now I analyze stock picks on YouTube. I compile all of my analysis every single day into a daily video that I post right here on this channel. I spend hours every day watching YouTube videos from the top 10 YouTubers so that you don't have to. All you have to do is watch this one video each trading day and you will get every single stock pick from the top 10 YouTubers. And all I ask in return is that you hit that like button, subscribe, and click the bell icon so that you can get notified when I release my next video. In fact, I'll give you five seconds to do that right now. All right, before we get into today's stock picks, I just want to remind everyone that I am not a financial advisor and none of the YouTubers I follow are financial advisors either. Today's video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who are wondering, you are currently looking at the Weeble desktop app. Weeble is the app that I use for my trading, and it is also the app that I use in all of my videos. All right, let's get into today's stock picks. First up is ACIC. This is a SPAC, and they're merging with Archer. Archer is an American electric air taxi manufacturer. ZipTrader called ACIC an add money to play. This stock has a $10 floor, so the most you can lose at these prices is about 1%. 
the upside is potentially as high as $45 or 346%. So a 1% downside and a 346% upside? Yeah, I would call this a no-brainer play. Keep in mind that ARK Invest is also buying ACIC because this company is an innovator in the air taxi industry, which is still a future industry which hasn't even really gotten started yet. Both ZipTrader and myself are holding ACIC as a long-term hold. Even though they already have orders and future revenue contracts, this company isn't really set to start taking off until 2024, and most institutional analysts have 20-year outlooks on the stock. Next up is BFLY. This is Butterfly Network. They manufacture an all-in-one ultrasound device that is extremely portable and can be used with just a smartphone. It is also much cheaper than a traditional ultrasound device. ZipTrader mentioned BFLY today for the first time. ARK Invest has been buying BFLY for the past few weeks. This company was still pre-revenue as of their last earnings, so this remains a very risky play. Technically, this stock is showing bearishness right now, with the stock trading between the 200-day and 100-day EMAs. Also, the MACD formed a death cross and is falling. I would wait and try to buy in closer to $16 or $15.50 if you can. I would also set a stop loss at $14. Next up is BLNK. This is Blink, and they are the second largest EV charging station company in North America with 8% of the total market share. Stockmo thinks BLNK has set a new base and is now going to start taking off over the next few months. BLNK has an average analyst price target of $58, which represents a 43% upside from Monday's closing price. Stockmo purchased BLNK today. It should be noted that Stockmo added this to his YouTuber picks portfolio, so BLNK was chosen by Stockmo's viewers and is not necessarily Stockmo's stock pick. Next up is BNGO. This is BioNano Genomics, and Larry Jones mentioned BNGO on Monday, and he gave an ideal buy-in price of $7.50. Technically, BNGO is finally showing good bullishness. The MACD is about to form a golden cross, the RSI is rising, and BNGO closed above the 10-day EMA today. If you've been waiting for a clear rebound before buying in, it looks like we might have gotten one today. If, and again, I'm saying if, BNGO closes above the 10-day EMA again on Tuesday and forms a clear golden cross on the MACD, then I would be looking to buy in. But right now, it's right at a crossroads, so I'm just looking for a little more strength before buying in. I don't expect BNGO to moon straight back to $15. I think this is going to take much longer to get back to all-time highs. You're going to hear me say this over and over again in today's video. This is not the market environment to be swing trading. You need to be either day trading or long-term holding. Personally, I'm so busy with work during the day that I'm just holding long-term right now. Next up is CHPT. This is ChargePoint, and they are the largest charging station company in North America with 73% of the total market share. ZipTrader likes the fact that the initial infrastructure hype is wearing off. He recommends buying CHPT for under $25 or as close to that as you can. I think we'll see a bottom at around $26, so anywhere in there is a good price to buy in at. Next up is CTRM. This is Castor Maritime. They are a commercial shipping company. Keenan Grace let us know that CTRM did another share offering today, and the stock was down over 20% on that news. You may have gotten stopped out today, and that's okay. Regardless, this share offering was at $0.65 cents a share, so anything under $0.65 cents is a good buy-in price. If the stock price fails to get above $0.65 cents per share, then the share offering will fail because people aren't going to buy shares at $0.65 cents a share when they can just buy them on the open market for $0.58 cents a share. So any price under $0.65 cents a share is going to limit the number of shares CTRM is able to sell, which in turn is going to protect shareholder value. Remember that CTRM is very close to profitability right now, and with double the number of ships that they had last year, CTRM's revenues will skyrocket and profits will eventually follow. You need to have a long-term perspective with CTRM. You need to be looking at where CTRM will be 5 to 10 years from now and not where it is at today. Today's huge price drop was an overreaction and an incredible buying opportunity. Therefore, I'm going to give you a buy under price of $0.65, cents, an ideal buy-in price of $0.60, cents, and a stop-loss price of $0.55. Cents. 
Next up is FTFT. This is Future Fintech. Chris Sane thinks FTFT is going to continue to rise back up to the $8 to $9 range. It did bounce off of the 50-day EMA today, which is bullish. We do have support at around $8.62, so I will reiterate my price target of $8.50, which represents a 43% upside from Monday's closing price. Even though FTFT closed above the buy under price I gave you yesterday, there is still enough upside potential to make anything under $6 and 50 cents a decent buy next up is mara this is marathon digital holdings they are a bitcoin miner zip trader let us know that mara went up over 15 percent to new all-time highs today that is ridiculous when you consider that bitcoin is trading lower than it was on thursday this is just another example of how crazy this market is right now bitcoin drops and mara goes up 15 percent it makes no sense this is another example of why you cannot do short-term trading right now. The market is too volatile to accurately predict any price movements. I will remind you that ZipTrader has a $60 price target on MARA and it is almost there. I do expect a pullback soon. Next up is NNOX. This is Nano X Imaging. They manufacture a new x-ray that significantly reduces costs compared to current x-ray technology. Keenan Grace recommended selling NNOX once you're up 40 to 50%. The stock was up that much right when the pre-market opened at 4 a.m., but then it sold off for the entire rest of the day. That is not at all how I expected NNOX to play out. But hey, we're in a very volatile market right now and crazy things are happening. Now, if you bought NNOX a couple of days ago like I did, you're probably up 15 to 20% if you're still holding. I actually have two positions, one in my short-term portfolio and one in my long-term portfolio. But this market is too volatile to do short-term trading right now, so many of my short-term plays have turned into long-term holds until this volatility dies down. NNOX should be well above $60 a share right now, so I'm just going to hold until it gets there. I may be holding this one well into 2022 until they get FDA clearance for their multi-source x-ray. I know in my heart that NNOX is going to change the world. Hospitals worldwide are either going to be using NNOX's x-rays or technology patented by NNOX. We just have to hold for the next few years until the world is changed by this new technology. In this current market environment, you can't be thinking about tomorrow. You need to be thinking five to 10 years down the road. So don't fret over day-to-day -day price movements. Just invest in companies you believe in and then hold them through all of the massive volatility we're seeing right now until the companies deliver on whatever you envision them delivering on. The stock price will eventually catch up. Just be patient. If you're not already invested in NNOX, I really think NNOX had too much profit taking today and sold off far too much. Now is a great time to buy NNOX. For a long term hold, I will give you a buy under price of $50, an ideal buy in price of $45, and a stop loss price of $40. Next up is PLTR. This is Palantir and they're a data analytics company. Both Keenan Grace and Zip Trader let us know that PLTR just received a $90 million five year contract with the National Nuclear Security Administration. The stock is still trading fairly flat and remains in consolidation but the MACD is now bullish and the RSI is rising as well. If PLTR can close above this strong support level of $24, it should start rising quickly. Tuesday may be the last day to buy PLTR under $24. Just be ready to hold if it drops back down again. I would set a stop loss at $20. Next up is QCOM. This is Qualcomm, and Chris Sane had recommended buying a call option on QCOM. Monday evening, he explained that you should have bought in at 9.30 and then sold at 10.30. Chris did not make it clear in his first video, but he said in Monday's video that this should have been a day trade. As I've said before, using single leg options to day trade is fine. Just make sure you're actually day trading and not holding the options to expiration. Next up is SRNGU. This is a SPAC and they have no merger target yet. Richard Allen reminded us that the management team behind the SPAC has a really good track record. SRNGU is doing a split where one common share is going to be equal to one common share plus one-fifth of a warrant. You need to be holding SRNGU by the close of business on April 16th to take advantage of that. After hours do not count. Once the split happens on Monday, April 19th, you'll essentially get one-fifth of a free warrant if you choose to take advantage of the split. 
Just keep in mind that most brokers charge a fee to process the split. So you'll need to be holding a fairly large number of shares to make processing the split worth it. If this is of any interest to you, you should first call your broker and ask what the fee is to process the split. Then you should calculate how many shares you'll need to own to make the fee worth it. Keep in mind that the warrants could trade for as little as 50 cents, but will probably trade much higher. So use 50 cents per 5 shares as your break-even price. So if your broker charges $39, then you'll need 78 warrants at 50 cents to break even. To get 78 warrants, you'll need to own 5 times as many shares, or 390 shares. As of Monday's closing price, 390 shares will cost you a little less than $4,000. I know that amount of money is more than many of you probably have, but if you do have extra cash that you can dump into this, it's pretty much a guaranteed profit. And of course, once SRNGU announces a merger target, you can expect both the shares and the warrants to rise in price significantly. So if you do have the funds to process the split, that will greatly increase your profits once SRNGU announces a merger target. If you want to know more about this, please go watch Richard Allen's video that he uploaded Monday evening. Finally, we have VUZI. This is Vuzix, and they're an augmented reality company that already has a lot of customers. Dead Inside mentioned VUZI after it ran up over 12% on Monday. VUZI has been rising lately because the hype around augmented reality is rising. Also, there are a lot of clues that VUZI is working with Walmart right now, which could provide serious confirmation for VUZI so that they can get contracts with other companies. Now, technically, we have a lot of really good things happening right now. First, the MACD is about to form another Golden Cross. Second, the RSI continues to rise. And third, we are close to a 52-week high breakout. I would personally try to buy in a little closer to $27 if you are interested in VUZI, but regardless, this is a good long-term hold at any price under $30. It also has possible day trade potential coming up once it breaks above $30.65. However, if it hits $30 and then starts to go back down, which is more likely, then ZipTrader recommends taking profits and trying to buy back in at a lower price. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and got a lot out of it. Comment down below what your favorite stock pick is. And if you want to get some free stocks, sign up for Weeble using my link in the description below. When you sign up and deposit just $100, Weeble is going to give you two free stocks worth up to $1,850. How crazy is that? They're also going to give me one free stock, so it helps you out and it also helps the channel out. Finally, remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and click the bell icon if you haven't already. I hope you have a lot of success trading, and I will see you tomorrow.